Say hello to my little friend. I told you a long time ago, you fucking little monkey, not to fuck me. Hey, hey, who the fuck do you think you talk to, huh? You wanna fuck us? Who the fuck do you think I am, you fucking dumb boy? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Do you wanna go to war? Come on, do you wanna go to war? We we'll take you to war, okay? Tony, coño, come up, man. Alex, you there? Hey, he's not there. We're gonna war. We're gonna eat that salsa for breakfast. Pacino, man. Al Pacino, my brother. My brother from a different mother. Marcus Conti reporting on a very serious story. Breaking, breaking story. And uh, <clears> the <throat> Coast Guard, on the note of uh, cocaine, the Coast Guard, check this shit out, man. Fucking half $500 million in cocaine. Look at this shit, man. These are the, hold on a second. Let me give you the fucking autofocus here. This bullshit, shit, fucking. So check this out, right? Here's a that's for five hundred five hundred million dollars in cocaine look like. And those are the fine workers at the Coast Guard that <clears throat> got it. Right? There's an interesting twist twist to this story. There's more to it than just a bunch of Coast Guard people seizing a lot of cocaine on a boat. Uh, let me read the article. <clears throat> I read it in a few different places, so but I'm gonna I'm gonna read the the post because <laughs> they speak my language. All right, so U.S. authorities seized about 18.5 tons of cocaine. <laughs> you know how much cocaine that is? 18 and a half tons of cocaine, with a street value of 500 million, in the Eastern Pacific Ocean. U.S. authorities seized in the Eastern Pacific. Ocean. Ocean. Just listen carefully. U.S. Coast Guard said on Friday, excuse me, the cocaine was taken off the Coast Guard cutter James, cutter James in the Port Everglades in Fort Lauderdale on Thursday after it was confiscated from 15 drug smuggling vessels in the internal international waters, the Coast Guard said. So they seized it in the East Pacific Ocean, and it was, and the cutter unloaded it in Fort, Fort Lauderdale. Just, just, a, just something to think about for a second. Multiple, multiple United States Coast Office cutters helped seize the drugs of Mexico, Central, and South America. It said some forty-nine suspects were arrested and will be prosecuted in Southern Florida. The Miami Herald reported cocaine remains one of the most popular illegal drugs in the United States, where most of America's cocaine is consumed, according to federal officials. There are troubling early signs that cocaine use and availability is on the rise in the United States. For the first time in nearly a decade, the U.S. State Department said in a global narcotics trade report in 2017, potential global cocaine output reached 14,000 14, 14, tons in 2016. Highest level ever. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so, what? Why are you crying? Why are you screaming? My cat is screaming. So, so what's interesting about this, firstly, that stands out is, is a couple of things. First of all, 18.5 tons of heroin. Right, The big move covers the little move. Right? Big move covers the little move. What's the little move? What are they going to do with 18.5 tons of heroin? Right? We're going to have a public burning. We're going to watch them destroy it. That happens to 18.5 tons of heroin. Come up here. Come over here. 18.5 tons of heroin. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Oh, 
She hasn't seen me in a while. She's crying. So 18.5 tons of heroin end up on from from 15 drug smuggling vessels. Of course, there's never any details about, you know, 15 different. It's interesting. It's an interesting story. <laughs> I mean, do we even believe any of, of anything anymore? Is it the big move covering the little move? Is this is does this cocaine end up back on the street? Is this a big advertisement for the for the for the for the dealers to come in? And why always Florida? Why always Southern Florida? God damn it again, fucking Florida! Can't believe that shit, right? Right into Debbie Wasserman Schultz's fucking all the shit going on in Florida, and they go to get from the eastern part of the Pacific down by Mexico, wherever they claim to have gotten it, and then they round up all those boats and they bring the cocaine on the boat all the way to southern Florida on the Atlantic side for Lauderdale, right? So they'd have to go through the Panama Canal. They'd have to make this long journey, right, through the through the Panama Canal up to why Florida? Why not just do it in California? Right? Why 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 did they prosecute? I don't know. I don't know. I, what what am I? What do I know? I'm just a fucking guy with a bunch of cats, a jerk off guy, cats. Right? So 19 suspects were arrested. 49 suspects arrested and will be prosecuted in southern Florida. Well, let's see. I mean, I would like to, uh, I mean, given the benefit of the doubt, right? It's law, It's our law enforcement agents doing a good job. They round it up. They got, they slapped all that 18, you know, fucking 18 and a half tons of heroin from entering the United States, right? On what they're calling smuggling ships. They're not cargo ships. Right? Fucking, they're smuggling ships, right? Dedicated to smuggling. 15 of them. It's pretty clever, right? It's not on one big boat. It's on 15 different boats. This is the story. The official narrative but what's most curious what's most interesting and that of course nobody would report is why did they bring it to florida right and what happens to that cocaine <sighs> what happens to that 18 and a half tons of cocaine now that it is in custody by the united states coast guard i'd like to know would you would you like to know where fucking that cocaine goes how about you, cat? You don't like cocaine. My name is Marcus Conti reporting.